To configure the IP address, go to the TCP IP and BACnet configuration page. On this page, you can set the IP address for the box and the subnet mask and the gateway. Make sure that you get a subnet mask which is correct for your network and that the gateway is inside of the subnet mask region. Then we go to configure the BACnet UDP port. The default is generally good, but in some cases you might need a different UDP port for shared networks on the same LAN. Then we specify the BACnet device ID. A default is generated by the box, but you might need a specific BACnet device number for your location. The BACnet device location description string is entered in this box. Then, in some cases, we want to have DHCP services available on this box, and we can enable them from this location. But in this particular case, we do not need to enable uh, DHCP services for auxiliary boxes, so we'll leave this box unchecked. The last box enables BACnet IP control objects, which allow us to directly address Modbus register targets in target devices. And again, we do not need this for this particular case. So uh, we'll go down to the bottom and hit OK to accept the changes. And we'll do save and reboot to finally accept the changes. Confirm.